This lesson is an introduction on the VI text editor. The version of VI that actually comes with Linux is actually called VIM, which stands for VI Improved. It's designed to work with different kinds of terminals and keyboard layouts. Now you can use the VI editor by using, a standard, by using the standard set of ASCII characters. You do not need to use the arrow keys or function keys to actually work around with VI. Now VI is broken down into four different modes. We have normal mode, command mode, insert mode and replace mode. Default when you start a VI editor it opens up in normal mode. So let's go ahead and start by creating a file. To edit or create a file you just need to use the command name VI followed by the name of the file. So let's just create a test file. And then press enter. To get into insert mode you can use either the I key, the O key, or a few other characters. Let's just go ahead and press I and you'll see that at the bottom of the VI editor we have insert. It's letting us know that we're now in insert mode. So let's go ahead and just type this is a test dot this is a test dot. So now let's say I want to copy one of these lines and just paste it multiple times. I'm going to go press escape which will take me out of insert mode and then I'll go to the line I want to copy. So let's say I want to copy this line. I'll just go ahead and press YY, which is called Yank. And then I'll just start pressing the P for paste. Just press it over and over just to have a few lines there. All right. So now, now you can see switching in and out of uh, from normal mode to insert mode, you could do that by typing I. But you'll notice when you pressed I, it actually inserts wherever the cursor was. Let's say I wanted to add a line under this current line that I'm currently at. So I'll type the letter O, and you'll see now I can now I'm in insert mode below the line that I that I had selected before. Lowercase O. Now let's go ahead and press Escape to get back to normal mode. Let's say I wanted to add a line above this line that I have selected here with my cursor. I would hold shift and press O, so it would be an uppercase O, and now I'm able to insert a line above the current line. This was using an uppercase O. There are also a lot of different ways to scroll through text. We could use the uh, up and down arrows, left and right arrows, or you can use the traditional VI keys to navigate the file. For instance, the uh, you could use the letter J, which would move the cursor. We want to make sure we're in normal mode. So we can use the letter J to go down. We could use the letter H to go to the left, L to go to the right, and K to go up. Now, there are also many other ways to move around in, in, in normal mode for instance let's say let's say you want to scroll down 12 lines you'd hold control D and we now went down 12 lines from where we were previously if we hold control U we now went up 12 lines from where we were previously now and if you do an uppercase G while in normal mode it'll take you to the last line and also you could do uh, you could put a line number in front of the G before you press G and which would take you to that current line. So let's go to line two. We type two shift uppercase G. Now we're at line two. Now you can also you can also move around the document in command mode. Let's hold shift colon, which brings us into our command mode. And we could uh, let's say we wanted to go to the third line. I could type 3, enter, I am now at the third line. If I do shift colon again and type the dollar symbol, I am now at the last line. Shift colon again, 1, and I'm now at the first line. To, let's say I wanted to change some words out. For instance, using lowercase. So let's say I wanted to change those two words to... I am using lowercase o. In normal mode, press escape. So we're back in normal mode. And we're going to say for 2, we put the number 2, C, W. And then start typing. I am 
using a lowercase o. And there we go. Escape to get back to normal mode. If we wanted just to replace one word, you would just do CW and just type replace with this. And there you go. Now we were able to replace. Let's press escape to go back to normal mode. And let's say now I want to go into replace mode where I'd have everything that I type get overwrite pretty much whatever the text is in there in its place. So let's say I'm going to hold uh, shift R. Now you'll see that I'm in replace mode. This is text typed using replace mode. And you'll see that I was able to replace that entire line within my replace mode. You can press the escape key to get back to normal mode. So let's talk about actually uh, searching through the document. Let's say I wanted to find anything that contained the word typed. I would use the forward slash followed by my search term typed and press enter. And you'll see it bring me right to the document where I have typed. Let's say I wanted to scroll through multiple Let's say I had a few words in there called typed within my document. I could just press the N key to scroll through all the results. You'll see that it didn't find anything, and it gives you a little message at the bottom. Search hit bottom, continuing at top. So you'll see that the search, when hitting the N key, will scroll through the document. So let's go ahead and search for something else. For instance, test. Enter. Now every time we press the N key, you'll see that it will bring us through all the spots where it found the word test and it'll keep scrolling through the document so now let's say we wanted to save the document we can save the document by hitting ZZ capital so hold shift ZZ we have now saved and exited the document to reopen the document we just type VI test file press enter and we are now back in the document Let's say I wanted to save the document through command mode instead of normal mode. I would hit shift colon W. And now, I was, now you'll see that it saved the file. If I wanted to have the same actions as ZZ, I would hold shift colon WQ. So right quit. Press enter. You'll see that it, it wrote to the file and then quit the VI editor. So let's go back. VI test file. Enter. Let's say we made a change such as testing one two one two three and escape. Now let's say I didn't want to change that and I wanted to quit. You could do quit, bang. If you just did quit by itself, you'll see that it's letting you know that you did not save your changes. So if you still want to quit without saving your changes, you'd have to overwrite it by using the bang character or explanation point. So let's go ahead and command mode. Q bang, enter, and you see that we were able to quit the document without actually saving. Now let's say let's say I want to let's get into enter mode and type testing. Get back into normal mode. Unless I wanted to undo what I just did. I could just type U and it would undo the last change that I did. You can continuously type U until you undo all your changes, but since we recently just opened up this document, you'll see that we're already at the oldest change that it remembers. You could also use the help care. You could also use help within VI in order to learn more about the different commands you can use. So you type command so colon help, and you'll see it bring you into the VIM main help file. And in here, it'll tell you how to move around using HKLJ. It'll tell you how to close the VI editor. It'll tell you how to get into the different modes, different options that you have, and so on. So now that we've covered those basics, I have a, somewhat of a practice that you guys can do using this uh, tool called VIM Tutor. So just type Vim Tutor and press enter and just read through this document and you'll see that it'll give you different things that you can practice with. For instance, 
how to move the cursor. H, K, L, J. It tells you which each key does. And it gives you a few, a few little examples that it wants you to do in order to proceed to the next lesson. And then the next lesson, it teaches you how to quit the editor, discarding changes or saving changes. And, just, and it keeps going on, bringing you through most of the basics and getting you just to get you more comfortable with the Vim editor.